turn the fan off. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> this is the the jig. Now I originally considered for about 33 seconds to TIG weld all of this. And then I kicked myself right in the nuts and realized that that would not be. That's just dumb. I can wire feed this, make it look really, really nice. And um, wire feeding is a fraction of the cost of what TIG welding consumables are. And TIG welding will go much faster. Or wire feed will go much faster. So using my, my high-tech notes here. On the door itself, I have 9 inches to the nearest like good structure on this wrought iron. Here there are, uh, there's like a couple little narrow little twisty deals here and then here at 9 inches there's an actual square piece. Uh, probably half inch square, I'm assuming. I don't know, I didn't measure it, really not that important. So I wanted 9 inches from the leading edge of the gate to the structure which got, which is this part here. And then it actually worked out perfect. This is a 12 inch beam clamp. And then I have 7 inches to the wall from the leading edge of the door to the actual wall itself. I don't need to fill that whole gap on the strike side because there are other ways I can shore it up. I felt the lock side was the most important because that's the biggest floppiest door area. This thing's only, you know, six and a half inches wide, so it's pretty stout. Uh, so what that leaves me is that leaves me with a three inch Deville Hion and uh, it'll actually work out. It'll work out quite nicely because that'll just give me just enough room back behind this electronic release mechanism uh, that the wires aren't butted up against there. And yeah, so I just wanted to give you a quick, quick glimpse. Well, it's not a fancy welding table, but it's what I call home. Where are we? These are the little end caps. Got the holes welded up. Yep. Let me hit those with a wire wheel, get that powder coat off, and then uh, let's see what kind of mess we can make. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I've got the end caps welded on. I just ticky tacked them in the corner. They're not structural. They're just kind of to keep bugs and people out of it. And uh, I'm going to put a coat or two of paint on this anyhow, so it'll give it a good uh, seal. I wasn't going to... They're non-structural, so we're not getting nutty on that. But I do need to uh, cut a recess out here. This needs to be open. When the gate closes, it comes through here, and it's supposed to go that depth. Okay, so I have to cut that out. That's what this is. Yeah, well, that's going to show up. And then, then when that drops in there, like that, we'll see how it fits once I get that and knit. This part here, I need to, uh, again, we got the, I need to figure out where to drill the holes. I can't speak. What am I having a stroke? What's going on here? I need to drill the hole for the doorknob. Um, but in this case, it's the deadbolt slash doorknob. But then I'll show you how I'm going to mark the holes for the doorknob. Inch and a half is dead nut center, DNC. So we put it here. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it in the camera. Two and three eighths set back. And come in and do this. Pew, 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 pew. And then we do this. How about them apples? So we're going to grab the old plasma cutter and I'll do the, I'm going to make a mark on the other side of the, the bracket here and then I'll get the plasma cutter out and we'll cut a hole or two, or two holes in a thing. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Not very good at freehanding. Doesn't look very round. <laughs> but, oh well, the knob fits, or the lock fits I should say. Um, here it is right here. It's kind of skirky. I'm going to come in with a file and clean it up. But, what do I do with it? Oh, whatever. It's put away. It uh, it fits. I actually already test fitted it here. Fitted it. So I could make sure that this piece works. And I dug through the hoard. And I found this. And does this look familiar? This is part of that seismic plate that I used for the shifter plate for the uh, sawmill, band mill. And look at this. What? Dude, you are just on fire. So I got a little, do a little trimmy trimmy to get it to fit in here. 
But uh, yeah, it's going to drop down so it fits flush to this because that's where I measured this back set 2 and 3 eighths just from this. Um, anyway, I wanted it flush so I could make this sit tight to this. So I'm almost done. I just got to cut back about, about an hour and 15 minutes into this already. I only bit it out for about an hour. Um, well, I bit it for an hour. I figured it would take me an hour or so. Anywho, um, I'll come in and I'll trim this so it sets in. This sets in. Where's my electronic release? Fits like that. Need to drill and tap those little hose. And that way this can go in. Pew, pew, pew. I'm not sure why there's a detent there. I don't know. I don't know. It's coming along. All right, click this camera off. I'll be right back. All right, a little tipping, a little tapping. She's going to fit like that. That's a pretty good dry fit. That's not even welded in there. Oh, Lord, I need to clean my shop. So my plan is to come in. I will weld this one all the way around, and then we'll grind it out. So that's why I didn't uh, not sweat in these little bitty parts. You'll never see them here in just a minute. So let's do a little welding, and I'll be right back. That's the way she goes, straight off the welder, 035 uh, flux core. I'll give it a wire wheel to see what it looks like. That's not horrible. That is uh, very manageable. Put a little flapper wheel on it, let's see what we can make it look like. started going and I uh, almost didn't pick up the camera before I chopped it out. This is what was originally put in. It's not the most secure gate, but I'll do what I can. gaps are in pretty good shape. I forgot to account for this when I measured back to here so I got a little of this but it's cool I've got some other steel with me I can fill that in. I did bring some extra pieces just in case. tab there and here keep the door from doing that keep the gate from doing that and we'll call this one good except for electronics get the electronics next week sometime a few extra parts I ended up welding some angle there and a stop here it really firms things up as I mentioned I still need to get the expanded metal but uh, I haven't cleaned up my mess solid extremely solid electrical 
and the wire mesh. Back mesh to keep this from happening. Run some electrical to that. Couple push buttons. Life is good.